Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice Demond, and I help those with severe inflammation naturally beat the swelling, pain, and energy drain so they can live their best life. In today's video, we are going to be doing a review on Members Marks Plus Alkaline Ionized Hydration Water. Yeah, that's a lot, of, a lot to say. I don't even know which way it goes first, but um, that's what we're testing today, and we're going to put it to the test against our electrolyzed reduced water. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen any of these videos before, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your overall wellness. Let's go ahead and get pouring this Alkaline Plus water by Members Mark. Now, because this is the Alkaline water, we are in for a really, really good battle um, and a lot of learning because I learn a lot every time we do these. Uh, so we're going to test it for three specific things. The first one is antioxidants. The second is alkalinity. And third, I like to call superior hydration. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into that first one, which is antioxidants. This one is by far the most important aspect that I test out of the three that I do for these videos. And the reason why is because of all these things around us known as free radicals. They're in the air that we breathe, they're in the foods that we eat, the, all the electronics that we have in nowadays, whether it's the headphones, the cell phones, all the radio waves and towers going on, all these things, they come into our body and they take electrons from our healthy cells. And when they do that, it creates oxidation and inflammation. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. This is why we started aging, folks, okay? And so if you're experiencing any type of itis, like arthritis, tendonitis, bronchitis. That's inflammation literally happening in the body. You see, oxidation creates uh, rust and dis-ease and aging in the body. It's positively charged, and so we want to consume antioxidants. These are your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E's. They give extra electrons to those cells, which ultimately reduces that oxidation, bring down that inflammation, and it's the fountain of youth. And our water should be the same way, okay? It should be a antioxidant. So we're gonna use this ORP meter to see if we get a positive number, which is oxidizing, or if we get a negative number, which is an antioxidant. All right, let's see how Members Mark's water does. All right, we are seeing 127. A positive 127, so that means this is, oh, I jumped up to 136, so that means it is oxidizing. And you can see the air is making it worse, right? It's steadily going up. Let's go ahead and check out this electrolyzed reduced water. See what we get here. And we are getting, huh, a negative 804, 805, negative. See that dash, check that dash, all right? <laughs> So it is a very, very strong antioxidant. And as you can see here, this member's mark water is oxidizing us, which means it is slowly but surely creating more dis-ease in the body. Now, if we were gonna do, weren't gonna do any more tests, that would be all that we really need because anything that we're drinking that's making us sicker, we really don't wanna be consuming that. However, we do have two more tests to do, and I think this is where it really will get interesting. So let's go ahead and check out the second one on alkalinity. All right, our second test is on alkalinity, and many people know this one because this is referred to pHs, right? When we're out there trying to find the best water, we have heard already from media, from the bottled water companies that pH is the right thing to look for. Well, really, is it? Yes, in a sense it is. And so the bottled water company has started taking advantage of this and making waters that are alkaline, that are meant to help the body. So let's get into it for just a moment, okay? When we're talking about alkaline, we're talking about the pH of your blood. Our blood must stay around the 7.365 to, in order to keep the body in optimum health, okay? It's, it transfers all the nutrients and everything like that around, and you want to ensure that your blood is able to do that without too much acidity. If we can continue to smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, tobacco, uh, acidic foods, acidic beverages, 
and our body gets too acidic, it's gonna to start to show in different areas of our life. So our skin is gonna to start to get bad. We're gonna wake up, we're gonna start cracking bones and everything. Uh, osteoporosis will begin to happen. And if it continues, we'll start getting Alzheimer's and we'll start having memory loss and brain fog and those kinds of things. It's because we have too much acidity in our body. So we're gonna use these pH drops to test for pH and alkalinity. If we see a red, orange, or yellow, that means it is acidic and is eating the minerals and electrolytes that our body needs. And eventually it's gonna start taking it from us. If we see a purple, blue, purple, or dark purple, that means it's alkaline and it's helping keeping the body in balance, keeping that blood in balance. Let's see what we get. All right, so both of these are looking very alkaline. I want to say the member's mark. I want to keep saying maker's mark. Man, if y'all know that alcohol, let me know. <laughs> but I keep wanting to say maker's mark. This is member's mark. And that is looking like a 9.5 as well as this electrolyzed reduced water. So anytime that I see something alkaline, I want to test it and see if it actually holds the true or if it's just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of these other waters here. So, members mark, we're going to blow into it and see if the acidity will change how the water comes out. All right, let's see. So it looks like it actually turned like a light green, maybe a yellow even. I can't tell, but it's fake, <laughs> okay? And clearly if you look at the front of the bottle, you can tell why it's purified water. So purified water, they remove everything. They clean everything out. So all the natural minerals that are in there, they take them out, which makes this water very acidic to begin with, which is what's showing up there and it looks like it is purified through reverse osmosis. So they take everything out and then they sprinkled in some stuff to make it look alkaline. And here they added potassium hydroxide, calcium chloride, and magnesium chloride. All these chlorides here are different types of salts um, that are added to this water to make it appear alkaline, to make it do the 9.5. And it did the 9.5 until we actually gave it some real city to go against. And yeah, then it showed its true colors. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and check this other water too. Let's make sure there isn't um, anything added to this and that it actually holds its, holds its alkalinity. All right, I can't get to change <laughs> because this is naturally alkaline. All right, there's nothing added to this water that's gonna make it extra, <laughs> that adds to the alkalinity, okay? This one had stuff added to it, and if you are buying bottled waters, just see if there's ingredients. If there's ingredients to your water, that means there's something added to it to make it seem alkaline, okay? I promise you. Um, yeah, so, um, Yep, that is the end of this test. So when it comes to alkalinity, this one looked like a 9.5, but when you actually test it, it's not that good, which is good to know because if we're consuming burgers and french fries and waffles and all these kinds of things, and we're thinking that this water is gonna battle all that city we're consuming, we're kidding ourselves, okay? And now that we've seen this video, we know better, so we can start doing better. Let's go ahead and take a look at that third video, which is, or the third test, which is on superior hydration. Alrighty, on to that third and final test, superior hydration. By far one of my favorite ones. And the reason why is because we are gonna make tea, all right? 
So the tea bag is gonna represent us dehydrated and it's just a representation um, just to see how small this water is to see if it can actually pass through the tea bag and make tea, okay? So um, our water, it, when we drink it and consume it, it should not just sit in our stomach. It should actually get absorbed and bring nutrients to our blood and allows us to be able to push out waste, all right? So we'll see what happens when we try to make tea with this water. So let's see if we can get this bouncing around a little bit. All right, with a little bit of bouncing, we are able to get some tea. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Got a little bit of tea going. Let's go ahead and try it with electrolyzed reduced water. Beautiful. And with electrolyzed reduced water, there was no bouncing. And of course, you're probably saying, well, print this, duh. The bag was already wet. There was no bouncing required. So we're gonna try it again this time with no bouncing, all right? And even then, this, this one looks darker than this one here. So let's see what we get when we do this. All right, so this does hydrate. It hydrates a little bit. I can give it that. <laughs> it does hydrate. It is able to get through those cells a little bit better. And I think the reason why is actually because it says on here that's ionized, okay? So ionized water, water that is ionized actually is smaller. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for water that's small enough to actually pass through the cellular level. And usually ionized water can definitely do the trick. Unfortunately though, it is oxidizing us, so we just gotta be mindful of that. But those of you who drink this water, you're like, you know what, I drink that water, and I feel I feel more hydrated when I drink this as opposed to other things. It's probably because of the ionization that is there. Alright, so I want to say these are pretty even, maybe a little bit lighter here and here a little bit, but you guys not sure if you can see in the camera. Uh, let me know if you can. <laughs> but ultimately. There you have it. So, we have tested Members Mark plus Alkaline, Alkaline plus Ionized Water for three things. First thing we tested for was antioxidants, one of the most important things. And we saw that this water is oxidizing. It's creating more stress, inflammation, dis-ease in the body. Second thing we tested for was alkalinity. And we saw that it showed 9.5 until we gave it some acidity, and then it looked almost like this tea here already. Um, and then the third test we did was on superior hydration, and we saw that yes, it can hydrate us. Unfortunately, it's hydrating us with oxidizing water, all right? So there you go, that's the end of this test. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, share this with someone who drinks this water so they understand, and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.